Okay. Hi, y'all. Tom here with the Rogue Incognito at a new restaurant opening here in Cocoa Beach, the uh, Hangry Joe's. It looks like it's a uh, kind of like a Nashville hot chicken type of place. I do love the artwork behind me. So, yeah, we'll see what it is. It's brand new. What, what can be bad? But that. All right, I'm going to say this just because I was talking to some people next to me. Here, here they are. You can sign and see them. Why does no place offer a wing flight? Like, it's a dumb thing. You have beer flights. You pair it with a wing flight. You know, six wings, 12 wings, whatever it is, and give one of each flavor. Still in the wind. A free t-shirt. I want a free t-shirt. I forgot to show off the shirt. Here's the shirt. They gave me a size bigger. Hopefully it shrinks. I don't want to grow bigger. I'd rather have the shirt shrink. I'm just saying. So we got a back end kitchen that we can see. Some sauces going on right there. I'm, I don't know what the different sauce flavors are. I'm going to have to ask. But it's nice that you can see the kitchen. I appreciate restaurants that don't hide things. All right. So I ordered one of the Mighty Sendos because they don't have the full menu right now. So no chicken and waffles. Little upset by that. I'm a chicken and waffle guy. You guys all know that. Um, altogether, two sandwiches. So, so you guys know, there's no pricing. The um, Junior Sando, the like regular size, is eight ninety five. The Mighty Sando is eleven ninety five. Both of them come with fries. Drinks are separate, but it looks like one fountain drinks two ninety nine. So all together, two sandwiches, fries, drink came out to twenty six bucks or twenty six eleven. Not too bad. Um, have had worse i've had better so still not too bad one little side gripe so i wanted the soy garlic spicy soy garlic sauce i'm a fan of banchan if you don't know what banchan is it's a korean wing place and they do a spicy soy garlic so i thought it'd be similar here um they don't put the sauces on the sandwich they're like oh we can give you a side of sauce to do yourself little little small gripe we're gonna see but i think I think you should be able to, you know, sauce a chicken sandwich. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right, little anecdotal side note. Apparently, it is hotter than you think. Like, the things are hotter. Um, so, if you're coming here, I would, I would suggest going mild from the start. Unless you have an iron stomach or your tongue is numb from life itself. Uh, if that's the case, then yeah, come ahead and uh, get the medium or hot. There is a challenge here for like they're super spicy when you sign a waiver and all that. Um, I'm, I'm not doing that unless you guys pay me a lot. So my food arrived in a uh, to-go box looking like for wings, but hey, it's good. Branding. And they like the fact that they mark what you got on the box. So that's also good. So let's see if I can actually get into the sandwich itself. I didn't realize there would be... It looks like a tongue. Uh, it does. Doesn't it look like a tongue? So this is the Mighty Sando. Doesn't look that bad for $11 price or $12. They don't really give you that much waffle fries. It's like seven. They're good fries though. Alright. Oh, yeah. Let's. A little, little bit of the. I'm just gonna get the meat first, anyway. Got some nice flavor to it, got some nice heat. Not bad. enjoyable it's not like an overused heat it's a good heat it's not bad at all i like it you know what 
I don't even need food cam for this. It's a sandwich. I can't wait for waffles to come next week. So the chicken waffle will be here next week at some point in time. I'll have to come back and try that. Because it's chicken waffle. I do love waffle fries. They're seasoned. You don't need ketchup. I have two sauces, but... Uh, I haven't got to any of the bread yet. I have the auto tracking on. It's going to make things weird, so I'm going to turn the auto tracking off. Lower this a little bit. Alright, look at that. Look at the sando. The sando. Nice dill pickle. Some slaw. I think it's a cider slaw. It's a nicely fried chicken breast. It's like a thinner sandwich than like say a Popeyes. So they're going for like thin and long, not like thick, not, not thick. Oh. I like the Hangry Joe sauce on there. I probably could have went up the medium. The mild isn't too bad. I'm just slightly sweating. But for 12 bucks, I just wish the drink came with it. Like it's 12 bucks, but it's actually like more 15 with the $3 for the drink. I didn't put my soy garlic sauce on it. I didn't put my soy garlic on. I just took it as is. I still think the idea of having the sauce of being able to be coated on the sandwich is a good idea though. But for an opening, I get it, I get it. I am testing the quality of my mic right now with the noise company. Is there blending making milkshakes right now like crazy? Almost done with the sando. I like to call it a sando, very Korean or Japanese. Oh, it's a sando, a sando. Spice is good. The spice is good. I like it. Perfect, perfect time frame. I also thank them for not opening on a Friday during Lent. I would have had to wait it. I will say this. I like this better than a Chick-fil-A sandwich. That says a lot. I like this better than a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. The spice is what gets it. It's a very good spice. It's a very even spice. An enjoyable spice, like a nice enjoyable spice level, is perfect. You don't want to go too spicy. You don't want to go too, too mild. So the mild, I'll try medium next time. And I'm going to definitely try the wings. I'm wondering if they're going to be more... Like uh, Bon Chan's wings, like I said. All in all, though, they're good. I like it. And uh, let's see a rating out of Zorts. Well, since this is the Rogue Incognito, I don't think we'd be rating out of Zorts, but if I was to give it a Zort rating, easily 8.5 out of 10 Zorts. I want to try the chicken waffles. That's what's going to be the kill, the make or break of this is the chicken and waffles. I just come back, but very good. I like it. Sorry, no food cam. It's a sandwich. I'm eating with my hands. What can I possibly tell you? Sandwich and fries. But. Huh. Also, I'm having agave cream soda. A little bougie. Perfect for me. A little bit bougie. That's okay. It's definitely fine. I forgot to say it. Stay foolish, my friends. Enjoy your time on 
your travels. This is a rogue incognito with Tom. Zortless, sad to say, but ang Angry Joes, they're, they're getting their sign put up. Bye, y'all. Later. Hope you enjoyed this little vlog. And uh, trying to do more of these rogue incognitos for you guys, especially as a uh, summer vacay hits. So, bye.